a long winding road. Uh, Brian Blaga was cleared yesterday uh, to uh, resume full activity, including uh, playing. So unless some unforeseen circumstance uh, takes place, uh, I think we're in good shape there. And uh, Tony uh, is improving. You know, we'll just kind of see what this week brings. You know, he dressed out Saturday, went through pregame, and uh, our, our biggest concern right now is just having somebody fall on him. You know, that type of thing. So we're, we're going to try to be smart, and uh, you know, we've already. Uh, given up a couple weeks here of his season, and uh, you know we're just going to be prudent uh, in fairness to him. Most importantly, you know, he's a senior player who's a very good player, and uh, to me, it doesn't do him justice to put him out there at risk or to put him out there uh, where he's not not going 100. percent So we'll see what this week brings and uh, make a decision at the end of the week. But uh, at least you know he's improving pretty rapidly. Going back to Brian real quickly, uh, just just in a nutshell, uh, and my medical background is like you know uh, pretty small, so. Uh, he had a thyroid condition, and uh, you know the good news is uh, it was something that just passes. You know, it could have been a little bit more extensive than that. And they have to go through a series of checks to rule, uh, make those decisions, and uh, what have you. But uh, the good news is it's a, 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 a illness that hit. Uh, it passed in time with proper supervision. He had great care, obviously. And, uh, you know, the good news is now he's been cleared. We don't anticipate any further problems, and he won't be on medication the rest of his life or any of that kind of stuff, which was all a possibility at the front end. So, yeah, I think all the drama has been resolved, and uh, it's been very frustrating for him, certainly. Uh, all, you know, all of us, but mo mostly he, uh, you know, he wanted to be out there playing. You know, it was killing him not to be out there, and, uh, you know, now he gets to, to get back into action. So we're really happy for him. Uh, the other, you know, it would be nice if it had happened in February, but that's probably asking too much there. So just one of those deals. Uh, on the captain front, uh, you know, a little bit of a change here. We've got Pat uh, on defense. Also, Adrian Claiborne will join him as a defensive captain and slash special teams. I guess he's become a special teams uh, uh, enthusiast now. And then on offense, we've got uh, Rick Stanzi again and, and uh, Tony will also represent us out there. So those four guys. Uh, you know, we play Arkansas State this weekend. We've got an awful lot of respect for their football team and their program. Uh, I think, you know, if you look at their team uh, overall, first thing you have to do is look at the coaching staff. Steve Roberts has done a great job there. Uh, and my, you know, I don't pretend to be an expert on Arkansas State, but I, I do remember, uh, you know, bumping into them recruiting back in the 80s a little bit. And, uh, you know, they, they've gone through some coaches, I know that. He's been there uh, seven years now, he and his staff. They've done a great job. They've got a good, stable staff. Uh, they've had the best seven years of football they've had since the 80s uh, at Arkansas State and been bowl eligible three of the last four years. Uh, but more impressive is just what you see on film. You see a team that's very well coached, they're very aggressive, they play hard. Um, you know, and we've watched film from this year and last year, needless to say. So, you know, we, we've got a lot of respect for them. They've got some very good players, offensively, their quarterbacks, uh, a real slick football player. You know, he's a good thrower, a good runner. Uh, you know, he gets the ball out and, and, and gets it where it has to go. You know, he's, he's really a, a very proven player. Running back's a record uh, uh, record setter for him. He's really done a nice job and a uh, very, very productive football player. And uh, they've got some guys on defense, particularly up front, that do a nice job. And the one defensive end, Carrington's a, you know, a big, strong guy. And I understand he ran like a 4.75, something like that for the, for the pros. So, uh, you know, he's a good football player. They've got some good guys, and uh, they play very well on special teams, too. So we've got an awful lot of respect for them. Uh, they beat A&M last year. They're not going to be intimidated coming in here. I, I can assure you they've played a couple uh, couple stadiums like that every year, and I think maybe the thing that caught my attention as much as any uh, would be, you know, the game after we played Texas in the uh, Alamo Bowl. After the 06 season, they opened up uh, uh, at Texas the next year. Arkansas State did and lost by eight points. So, you know, we saw them. Texas at the end of that season. We saw them uh, in the beginning of that next season, and or, you know Arkansas State played the heck out of them. So you know, we, we better be uh, you know prepare well, and we better be ready to go at kickoff on on Saturday. That, that's kind of where we're at right now. And, uh, we're excited about being back in Kenick. Certainly, it was a great environment in there before the Arizona or for the Arizona uh, ball game, and you know we're just looking forward to getting in front of the home fans again. It was a great environment the other day. Just uh, went the wrong direction that way, but uh, it'd be great to have the home crowd. And, we're looking forward to be back home and, you know, 11 o'clock kickoff, so we'll go from there.